All right, so you probably had all kinds of encounters with street photography on other channels, and uh, there are a lot of people talking about gear, myself included. I'm trying to get a little bit away from that because I realized that this channel becomes more like a review channel, like a gear channel, and I don't want that. Photography is totally different. Photography is about the story. It's about the subject and about the composition, the light, everything that you're including in a good imagery or a uh, good picture that you're taking with your camera. That is what matters most. And uh, if you want to learn photography and street photography, there are a lot of means other than grabbing a, an amazing camera like, let's say, last editions with a lot of megapixels or beautiful um, lenses that cost you $5,000. I already prove to you that I can shoot with any camera and you too because it doesn't matter if you're shooting with your phone, uh, if you're shooting with an old DSLR or even a, an old mirrorless camera. What matters is your hand, what matters is your eye and your inspiration, your creativity, how you are seeing the scene, how you are telling the story. And because we're at the story and because today we're talking about street photography, I wanna show you a book that I recently bought. This is called How I Make Photographs by uh, one of the masters in street photography, Joel Merowitz. If you don't know who Joel Merowitz is, He's uh, a um, amazing street photographer, probably the most one of the most awarded contemporary street photographers. He's old. Uh, he's living in New York City, and he started shooting photography in the 1960s, I think, uh, something like that. But uh, something particular about Joel Merowitz is the fact that he starts shooting photography with, uh, amazingly enough, uh, color photography. He was using a uh, color film, a color negative, and uh, he started documenting the streets uh, of New York. Now, uh, there was a lot of debate um, with his peers at that time because everyone was shooting black and white, and they thought that documenting should go in black and white. And for some reasons, I, uh, I have doubts too because I do love the contrasts and uh, the feel that you get from a black and white photo, especially in uh, documentary photography, but Joel decided to do it in color and he did it amazing. So this book basically shows off some of his amazing images that have been published and republished and uh, presented and represented in all kinds of galleries from Tate to uh, MoMA in, uh, San Francisco, in New York City, all over the world, uh, he had a lot of uh, galleries where you can admire his work. Well, some of them are right here in this uh, book and I'm not gonna show you uh, everything because I want you to buy the book if you can. This video is not sponsored. I'm not trying to sell you anything. It's just that I uh, would love for you to uh, get informed and uh, learn from the masters because you're not only looking at the compositions, the frames, the photographs that Joel uh, took. It's, uh, it's the, the words that uh, he put in and uh, explain his train of thought and how he got to that photograph, how he um, set up uh, everything, how he positioned himself to get a good shot on that or didn't and just uh, was a uh, moment of opportunity and shoot the shot. All of those things will get you more and more uh, inspired and uh, will uh, definitely boost your creativity to uh, help you go out and shoot and get good images. Now, street photography, it's not a job per se. You won't be able to make a lot of money shooting street photography, but you will definitely be able to make a name of yourself if you're doing it well. Also, you will be able to maybe sell prints or books, or if you wanna do it as the, the main thing, as the only job uh, that you're doing, you will probably at some point end up in galleries where uh, they have to pay for whatever they're presenting your work. And uh, that's, that's a great thing. Now, I'm not saying that you're here to uh, become a professional street photographer, but if you are serious about shooting street photography, documenting uh, life and the place where you're living or other places, if you are into um, telling the story and uh, 
show the moment to others or just document it for generations to come. This is a good book and uh, it's not the only one. There are many behind me and I have many in my library. But I wanted to uh, tell you this. Buy more inspirational and creative materials and uh, forget about buying only cameras and lenses and filters and tripods. A better photographer needs to have a good eye, a good hand, a good reaction, he needs to see scenes and frames and uh, shoot them in time to basically capture the moment that tells the story. I know it's a lot to take in, but if, again, you are um, serious about this craft and if you want to become a street photographer and you like to wander the streets of your city or other cities um, that is exactly what you have to do read and get yourself inspired by these guys who already made a name uh, for themselves and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it about the book again it's called how i make photographs by joel merowitz and uh joel again it's one of the most acclaimed street photographers and uh, debated because he shot in um, colors and if you like colors this is exactly for you it's not easy to shoot in colors it's not easy to shoot in black and white you have to know all the fundamentals for both of them but if you are more inclined to shoot in color this is something that you have to know. They're bigger books by Joel and he published a lot of them. Also, there are galleries all over the world, like I said. Uh, it has a, an amazing website that you can go and look and um, you know get inspired by whatever he did and the words that he's putting in. So guys, this is pretty much it for today. Hopefully this was inspirational. Hopefully this will help you improve your uh, street photography, your documenting photography, your... Um, way of getting the scenes on your uh, sensor and uh, create that beautiful imagery. Stay focused, my friends, and I will definitely see you in a bit.